so as with The Blind Side and Saving Mr. Banks, this is based on a fascinating true story. I just wondered what you found particularly compelling about the McDonald's origin story, and if you immediately saw some cinematic potential there. When I read Rob Siegel's script, I was taken by a couple of things. One, there's a whole lot of the story that I did not know, and so I said, wow, how come nobody knows this story? This is a story that everyone should know. Um, but the other thing was just I'd never read a script where I was actively rooting for someone and then kind of actively rooting against them in some ways. And I thought it was unique in that way. And, and I thought that I hadn't seen a movie that, like that before either. And I said, well, that's a, it's a high bar, but I think it's worth trying for because it fascinated me. Because at the end of the film, I felt quite conflicted about Good. Ray. Because, yeah. you, you know, some of the things he does, you know, you really think, oh, I shouldn't be talking with this guy. And he kind of starts off as a sort of Willy Loman type and yeah. then almost ends up as a kind of Gordon Gecko. Yeah. Um, what did you admire about Michael Keaton's um, portrayal of him and what's your own kind of take on the man? Well, we, we set out for it to be, we had talked a lot about it being kind of a Rorschach test for the viewer, that some people might say, well, he did what he had to do, and other people might say he's a monster. And that both, through, depends on the lens you're, you're using. But um, we, uh, we talked a lot about being fair, about being accurate, um, and being fair uh, doesn't mean shining you know, a, a harsh light or a positive light. It means just checking in and being fair to the character in the story. Um, and so we, we checked in with each other on, you know, all the time about is this compelling um, and does this work? And more importantly, do we understand Ray's forward lean? And you've worked with the same cinematographer, production designer, mm -hmm. and costume designer before. Mm -hmm. And not only did you have the period detail to think about, but recreating those early McDonald's uh, restaurants and yeah. the, look of the employees. Can you tell us a bit about your kind of guiding principles for the overall look of the film? Yeah, Michael Kornblith had the heaviest, uh, the had most heavy lifting to do in this movie because he had to build both the McDonald's from the ground up, and they had to function not only as sets but as eateries <laughs> and and places where you could cook. Um, and so I have that responsibility, I mean, that relationship with Michael, which has always been wonderful, and the fact that John Schwartzman is there, we, and Daniel Landy, costumer, we just constantly in prep are asking questions and hopefully answering them. With all those burgers cooking, did it sort of make you crave one, or did it sort of put you off in a way? It was a little of both. I would say when we first started uh, filming with The Grill, I was like, man, a burger sounds pretty good right now. But then after you've done it for, you know, a few weeks, not so much. I think it's such a rich story that whenever it um, might have been released, people would find sort of some resonances in it. But there do seem to be some things that are particularly relevant now. Um, one thing that sort of occurred to me was kind of the fake news aspect because Ray very much had his own version of events, didn't he? Yeah, no, I, I think that, that one of the things that we're keenly aware of now is branding of businesses. And I think Ray, if you look back, he may have been the first one to do that. He had an understanding that not only the Golden Arches were a great iconography along the highway, but the name, not his name, but McDonald's name, had, had branding value. And, and, and obviously, you know, we have a, a president-elect who, you know, does a lot with branding value and name branding and those kinds of things. So there are certain parallels, even though it was, you know, obviously we made the movie a long time before any and, of this. And the McDonald's... Um, Brothers have, um, you know, have, have passed away, of course. Mm -hmm. But what uh, contact did you have, if any, with the uh, McDonald's family? Don, uh, Don Hanfield had started the conversation with the McDonald's family and with Dick McDonald's grandson, and so we were then given access to all the family lore and papers and recordings and pictures and everything else. So it was helpful. John Lee Hancock, thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.